Boostrix Dapvile is a vaccine used to maintain protection against diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis in both children and adults who have been previously vaccinated for these diseases. It can also be administered during the third trimester of pregnancy to help prevent pertussis in newborn babies. Vaccination is the most effective way to protect against these potentially life-threatening diseases. The vaccine works by stimulating the body to produce its own antibodies for protection. Booster doses are necessary to maintain immunity as antibody levels may decrease over time, making it important to ensure ongoing protection. The recommended dosage and timing for Boostrix Dapvil should be discussed with a healthcare professional. Before receiving the Boostrix Dapvil vaccine, make sure to read all the information provided by your healthcare professional. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. The medication is administered through an injection into a muscle by a healthcare professional, typically in the upper arm. It is also possible to receive this vaccine at the same time as other vaccines, such as hepatitis B, using a separate needle and injection site. This can help reduce the number of injections needed. After receiving the Boostrix Dapvil injection, some common side effects may occur such as pain, swelling, or redness at the injection site, headache, tiredness, body aches, nausea, diarrhea, fever, chills, vomiting, or sore-slash-swollen joints. You can use acetaminophen or ibuprofen to reduce soreness. Rarely, some people may experience symptoms like fainting, dizziness, vision changes, or ringing in the ears just after getting the injection. If any of these symptoms persist or worsen, it is important to tell your healthcare professional immediately. Sitting or lying down may help alleviate these symptoms. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your healthcare professional has determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. However, you should inform your healthcare professional right away if you experience serious side effects such as high fever, seizures, numbness tingling, muscle weakness, or difficulty breathing. While a very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your healthcare professional for any other effects not listed here. If you experience any side effects, you can report them to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, VIRS, at 1-800-822-7967 in the U.S., or call the Vaccine Safety Section at Public Health Agency of Canada at 1-866-844-0018 in Canada. Before receiving the Boostrix Dapvil vaccination, it's important to inform your healthcare provider if you have any allergies, especially to vaccines, or if you have any medical history of nervous system disorders, current illness infection, or immune system disorders. This vaccine is usually recommended during pregnancy, but it's essential to discuss the risks and benefits with your healthcare professional. It's also unknown if this vaccine passes into breast milk, so consult your healthcare professional before breastfeeding. When taking Boostrix Dapvile, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could alter the effectiveness of your medications or increase the risk of serious side effects. This is not a complete list of all possible drug interactions, so it's crucial to keep a record of all the products you use and share it with your healthcare professional. It's important to not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor first. Some products that may interact with Boostrix Dapvil include drugs that weaken the immune system, such as cyclosporin, tacrolimus, cancer chemotherapy, and corticosteroids like prednisone. Additionally, other vaccines like diphtheria-slash-tetanus toxoids may also interact with Boostrix Dapvil. Be sure to discuss any concerns about potential drug interactions with your healthcare provider. As always, follow your doctor's recommendations for the best timing and dosage of Boostrix Dapvil. Boostrix Dap is used to prevent tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis in people who are at least 10 years old. This vaccine works by exposing you to a small dose of the bacteria or a protein from the bacteria, which causes the body to develop immunity to the disease. Boostrix Dap is given as a one-time injection to help protect against these diseases. It is important to receive this vaccination to ensure you are protected from these potentially serious illnesses. It is best to consult with your healthcare provider for the recommended dosage and timing for receiving the Boostrix DAP vaccine. 
When it comes to getting vaccinated, there are many options to choose from, depending on factors like your age, vaccination history, and previous reactions to vaccines. It's important to talk to your healthcare provider to determine the most suitable vaccine for you. It's also important to discuss the potential risks and benefits of vaccination with your healthcare provider. It's worth noting that having a history of infection with tetanus or diphtheria doesn't guarantee future protection against these bacteria. This means that you should still consider getting the Boostrix Dapvil vaccine if your healthcare provider recommends it for you. This vaccine helps protect against tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, also known as whooping cough. The recommended dosage for Boostrix Dapvil is a single injection into the muscle, usually in the upper arm. The optimal timing for this vaccine is typically during the third trimester of each pregnancy, or as soon as possible after giving birth. It's also recommended for adults who have not previously received the DAP vaccine. When it comes to Boostrix DAP vial, it is important to receive each vaccination as scheduled. Be sure to make a note of when the vaccination was last given for your medical record. This vaccine is used to help prevent tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis in people who are at least 10 years old. It is usually given as a single dose, and the best time to take this vaccine is when it is recommended by your healthcare provider. Be sure to follow their instructions for the best results. It's important to store this medication in the refrigerator, but make sure not to freeze it. Keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of this product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed. Make sure to properly discard this medication when it is expired or no longer needed. If you have any questions about how to dispose of it, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.